started in 2012 when the Paralympics were in London and the idea was to engage with young people from mainstream schools because we were finding that a lot of our events were, we were struggling to get young people from mainstream education with a, with a physical or a sensory disability. Often within mainstream schools, the children with disabilities aren't exposed to the kind of range of sports that are out there for them to get involved in. So by having an event like this, it kind of highlights what the range of opportunities that are out there and the clubs that are in the communities that they can go on and participate in. It provides children with the opportunity to take part with other children with similar disabilities. It makes them feel included, it makes them feel part of something. In terms of parental involvement, the parents are encouraged to come along to see the sports, to see the pathways that are provided for the children post-event. It also allows teachers to come and get some disability and inclusion training so they become more aware of the challenges that these children are facing on a day-to-day -day basis and how they can support them within PE, within sport and within physical activity. It's difficult for clubs to have the capacity to go out into every school to find young people and so having the links with Scottish Disability Sport has been invaluable. The Parasport Festivals are a great opportunity for us to showcase the sport which is a very exciting sport and the kids love it when trying to get them out of the chairs at the end of the session is more of a challenge I think. We've run talent ID sessions in partnership with Scottish Disability Sport for a number of years. The benefit of these para sport events is we're hitting much further down the pathway. So we're finding guys now at a younger age who may be not in the water at all and giving them an opportunity to signpost to learn to swim, um, to disability specific clubs, discrete clubs, um, into mainstream clubs and ultimately hopefully onto our, our squad programme further down the line. To see the number of kids here today, I think there's over 60 kids, uh, you know, it's amazing. And for the majority of them, this is the first time that they'll have experienced um, tennis or wheelchair tennis. No matter the disability, everybody can take part. We've got all the equipment there. Some of the athletes here require the wheelchairs, so we've got along the sports wheelchairs for tennis. We've got cambered wheels, an anti-tip wheel on the back so they don't fall out and they're strapped in, so they're really easy to manoeuvre. For the visually impaired, we've got the, the balls with the bells in them. We've also got the little Velcro pads the kids can hold with smiley faces on them, and the kids love catching it. They can have fun. That's what's great about the sport, you know, it can be adapted for any disability. We've had some success stories with the event, absolutely. Young people come in, try sport for the first time and then progress. I have to look at Josh Manson, who was here today as a high-performance athlete, giving a Q&A. He'd been to every single event since 2012 and now he's a, a wheelchair basketball and he represents Scotland in the Great Britain under 23. So. Hopefully one day he reaches Paralympic level. Coming to this event was amazing. I mean, I got to try different sports I hadn't tried before. Uh, I got to do some sports I had kind of done before. But I think coming here gave me a lot more confidence and more awareness of disability sports. This has taken me to new heights. It's taken me to the under 23s GB pathway. I got onto the under 23s Scotland squad. We performed well in the summer at our tournaments. I'm here as a grandparent to Angus Dixon. He's a 11 year old pupil. He's been coming here for five years and he's registered blind. He came here first off in 2013, so this is his fourth year. And um, when we saw the amount of sports available for people of his disability, it was fantastic. The physical help that's given him, even in motability and being confident to try things that he would never have tried before, he's just a changed person. We were interested in swimming after finishing their swimming lessons, so I contacted Scottish Disability Sport and asked them how can I get into swimming further. They contacted me and said, well, we've got a range of activities that we could um, give you information on. Why don't you come along to this Paralympic Experience event? and the, the kids can then get a chance to try out different opportunities. And they're now swimming at a regional level. They see themselves as kids who do sport, not kids who try and do sport. When I came last year, what I really enjoyed was the basketball and the badminton. I came back here this year because I thought it was a really fun thing to do and it had a great atmosphere. Not only are they participating in a sport that they may have not tried before, so they're building confidence in, in new sports, they're also building relationships with the wider community. They're coming together and actually will want to take that further. Using the pathways they can then access sports out with school, but also into a mainstream setting. Going from here, they've had the experience, they know they can do it. So they're then going to go back and have a bit more determination and resilience and want to take part in sport within school, so it's a win-win. An event like this for any disabled child is almost essential and if you're a parent who has a kid who has any kind of disability come along to something like this and you'll have nothing but fun. I would say come along, give it a try, 
and I'm sure you'll have a ball and you'll find a sport you love surely and even if you don't want to compete at a high level I'm sure you'll find it it's just a good thing to get out and get exercise and meet new people.